Hey guys, I'm Royal. If you plan on towing a trailer with your Toyota Highlander, you're going to need some wiring done. It's required by the law. Let's break down the install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Your Toyota Highlander will most likely have a quick connect located under the driver's side panel. To start, we'll be removing this panel. Next, we're going to lift up on this middle panel and take our passenger side panel out, exposing the window shade and removing that as well. Now we're going to remove these two push pins located here and here, and we'll be popping these out using a trim panel tool. With the two push pins removed, we can now remove the cargo tray. Next, we have to remove this scuff panel by removing these two push pins. With our scuff panel removed, we can now remove the black paneling on the driver's side. To do so, we have to unscrew these two plastic nuts using our hands. With the black paneling on the driver's side removed, it reveals the quick connect. If your Toyota Highlander does not have a quick connect, you'll have to wire it through the taillights. We'll go ahead and show you how to do it. To gain access to our driver's side taillight, we're going to remove this side panel right here, which exposes our wiring harness. To gain access to the passenger side taillight, we're going to follow the same steps as the driver's side. The only difference is we have to remove this jack and this foam covering in order to gain access to those plastic nuts. And again, exposes the wiring to the taillight. Now we're gonna take our T connector with the yellow wire and run it behind this panel and plug it in right here. With our T connected up through the panel, we're now going to remove our wiring harness. For the tail light, plug in the T connector and connect the trailer wiring harness to the existing T connector. So we need to ground our wires. To do so, we're going to place the wire right here and remove this bolt using a 10 millimeter socket. Our next step is to run our green wire along this black loom. And just like we did on the driver's side, we're going to bring our green wire under this paneling and connect it to our taillight wiring harness on the passenger side. Next, we're going to zip tie our green wire to our protective loom using some black zip ties. With our wiring harness installed in both the driver's side and passenger side taillights, we're now going to connect the harness to your U-Haul exclusive black power wire with protective lumen using a butt connector and our heat shrink tool. Now we need to connect our black power wire to the battery in the hood. In order to do so, we're going to run the wire through this black grommet underneath the vehicle and up into the hood.
To reinstall the grommet, we need to make a cut in the middle of it, about halfway, and put it in in order for the black power wire to fit in between. You have two options when stowing your four flat wiring harness. The first option is to drop it through the grommet right here in the vehicle. With the four flat through the grommet, you can now grab it and mount it to the rear of the bumper using a mounting bracket. So our customer wanted to go with option two, leaving the four flat in a storage tray and pulling it out as needed when ready to tow. So now with our black power wire dropped through the grommet, we can reinstall our cargo area. So now underneath the vehicle, we're now going to run our black power wire to the engine bay, avoiding any hot or moving parts. The easiest way to do so is to follow the brake lines. I'll show you. My first step is to fish the black power wire over the cross member on the driver's side. Next, I'm going to take the black power wire and run it along this line with zip ties. So with our black wire now um, to the front of the vehicle, it's helpful to use a stick or some type of pull wire to pull to attach the uh, black power wire to in order to pull it up into the hood of the vehicle. I did so using some black tape. Now with the black power wire pulled up from beneath the vehicle, I'm going to route it connecting to this black loom. Around the fuse box and then connect it to the battery. Next, we're going to connect our fuse holder to our power wire. And the simple part about this is with our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all I'll have to do is plug and play. On the battery, I'm going to be removing this nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Next, we're going to attach our 10 amp fuse to the fuse holder and put the cap on. And lastly, we're just going to clean up our wires. With wiring installed in your Toyota Highlander, you can now tow a trailer. Have fun, enjoy the outdoors, and we'll see you out there. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you need to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.